pom 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 it's the time of the season when the love runs high <laughs> oh uh, welcome back to Savor the Season. This is Michael. I'm Josh. He's our director over Sustainable Food Systems, and I teach our sustainable gardening course here at Rio Salado College. Hey, winter means one thing to me, Josh. Greens, greens, greens. And we're here today to show you what to do with this great vegetable. Well, that's actually three things, Michael, but I'm not counting. Come on, Josh. The real important question is, what do you have for me today? All right, well, let's check it out. All right, so what we're looking at here is our Osaka purple mustard. This is about 55 days old and it's ready to harvest. So Josh, for cooks like me, who may or may not have a green thumb, you don't see any green on these puppies, take me through it, what we got here? All right, well rest easy. We're gonna make this really simple. I wanna just simply make a one, two, three. All right, so what you're saying, Josh, I'm just gonna come here, draw a little line here, about a half inch deep? About a half inch, a All knuckle right. or so, yep. Put seeds in here. How far apart should my seeds be? Inch, two inch. I mean, it's to your liking. Okay, and then just cover it up, hit it with a little water, and that's all I need to know? You just need to keep your soil moist. The plants know how to do the rest. Have faith. You plant the seed, it'll come up. So then, Josh, when we harvest this, we're just going to harvest it once, and that's it? Uh, or? I'm certainly glad you asked. Uh, definitely not. The greens go about seven, eight times uh, well-maintained bed, sometimes even more. Uh, for simplicity's sake though, what I like to do in the harvest time is just take the outer leaves, leave the center portion pristine for regeneration, and they just keep on coming back. Wow. Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. Absolutely. You ready to get cooking? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, now that I brought you the star of the show, how do we make these greens pop? Josh, today we're making one of my favorite recipes and it's so simple. Saute greens, we're gonna add a little fresh lemon, a little Parmesan cheese, that's it, real simple. Wow, that sounds, that sounds delicious. So I'm guessing with something this fresh, you're gonna have some other local great ingredients? Oh, absolutely, Josh. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna make sure our pan is good and hot here. We have some local olive oil and we're gonna put it in here, right in the pan. Gonna sizzle a little bit. You can see that our pan is good and hot. Really, really good stuff. And remember, olive oil, it's healthy for you. Good fat, okay? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take a purple onion here. Okay, does it matter what color onion or? Purple, you could go white, green. You can, I'm just gonna slice it rustic. We like to go rustic with the slice. Rustic, I like it. Yeah, just slice it down. As you can see, our oil is good and hot over there. Right there. There's no style points for this. Just get it in your good hot pan. Oh, that sounds good. Get those baby sizzles. We'll get the rest What's of that next? in there. Garlic. I like to garden with good energy the uh, same way Michael prefers to cook. Or so I thought. What what happened there, Michael? Oh, hey, hey, you, you saw. see the way this thing was looking at me? Are you talking to me? No, in all, in all seriousness, all seriousness, when you hit the garlic with the back of the knife like that, as you can see, the peel came right off. We got all the essential oils going. Look at that. Actually, let's try that one more time. Bam. That see makes that? it way easier it than what it, I always takes do. It takes it right out. So we're gonna, we're gonna saute our greens, our onions a little bit here. Get that going. And once again, you can slice it, you can chop it. Just kind of a rough cut on there. Yeah, not and your we're gonna finger. get that right in to our hot olive oil. All right. And we're, we're gonna return our garlic peels to the garden, right to nature. There you go. So, yeah, the greens? Yeah, bring me some greens, Josh. All right. All right. So now that we have our onion and our garlic, we have a saute and it's getting all good. You see that? Smell that. Yeah, it smells that delicious. I wish you guys could going. smell that. It's delicious. So we have mustard greens, purple mustard greens here today. I'm gonna kind of slice some up here. Rustic. Why don't you hand me a few more greens, Josh? All right. All right, we're just gonna kind of slow. You can see how tender these greens are. Yeah, these are uh, first small, time harvest. They're a smaller green. We're gonna get that right in with our garlic and our onions. Get it all in there. Absolutely nutritious. Flip that around a little bit. You know what I like about these greens is you can get them everywhere this time of year. Farmers markets, as you can see Josh's garden, even my backyard. We're gonna let that go. And what we're gonna do is just gonna kind of saute it around here for two, three minutes depending on how tender your green is. 
These probably only take about two minutes or so. Now that these have been sauteing for a minute, we're just about ready to go. And that smells fantastic. Mm. And this looks actually easy enough for a gardener like me to do, huh? Absolutely, Josh. In fact, I even saved the most important job for you. That sounds dangerous. We're going to need to dress these babies up with a little fresh Parmesan and some fresh lemon. All right, so I got some half lemon here that you cut. And you just squeeze it over the pan, huh? Squeeze it right in there, Josh. Listen to that sizzle. That smells fantastic. You're supposed to do that? Absolutely. All right. Josh, I have one question for you. What's that? Where in the recipe does it mention uh, one, two, four lemon seeds in the dish? <laughs> what? Is that, I love seeds, man. I'm a gardener. Come on. Oh, touche. <laughs> touche, my friend. Okay, and you said some parm? Parmesan, man. You can't go wrong with parmesan. All right. Get I'm it. happy on parm, so just be oh, aware. Yeah, make it happy. More? That, no, I, uh, one more little pinch. Take All right, a little pinch. I think that's it right there. Okay. Look at this. Voila. Saute greens. I mean, in seconds. Hold on, though. Hold the phone. I'm going to hit it with a little sea salt. Always a little salt and pepper. There you go. Crack the pepper. A little crack black. Don't buy that bottled stuff. It's got to be fresh crack. We'll get that in there, and that is just delicious. Purple mustard greens, onion, little lemon, little Parmesan. The nice thing about these greens, we have some castrini breads we made in the kitchen a little earlier. You have an appetizer party, a little hors d'oeuvre party. Just put some of those right on there. Look at that. Mm. You don't want to miss a pan, though. That's... Keep it, up, keep it on your bread. That's definitely a party film. Okay. We'll get it right on there. Look at that. Also, take your greens. You need a side dish, right? Just like a side, yeah. Chicken, fish, steak. steak. Oh, yeah. You name it. Serve it right there. Little side dish. Beautiful accompaniment. Look at the color. Oh, yeah. It's okay? gorgeous. Yeah. Now, Josh, you have kids, right? You have oh, a yeah. son? You know, yeah. I have two kids. Always have pasta. I'm Always. Always pasta Always. in the fridge. I could pull it out at any given time. I think my kids could pasta survive last on night. pasta. So we're going to touch a little bit of pasta in our pan right here. Okay? We already did the hard work. We have our greens, red onion, parmesan, lemon. I'm going to touch more olive oil. Remember, good fat. Touch more. Josh, a little more never parm, have too right? much parmesan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was might afraid. Be, yeah, it might not be as, as good a fat, but. Yeah. All right. Good nonetheless. Got the olive oil in there with the greens, okay? A little bit more fresh crack. All right. And then, look at that. Instant pasta, it's nutritious. You have the greens in there. Oh, you serve it right on there. Does that smell awesome or what? Wow. Great energy in a simple, simple recipe. Yeah, and speaking of energy, let's talk about my appetite. I'm gonna try this thing out. And it's delicious. I hey. wish you guys could try this. For this recipe in its entirety, or to learn more about this, Sustainable Food Systems program at Rio Salado College, check out the website on the screen. And remember to always savor the season. season.